Ready? What's up, John? Yes, sir. What's going on, bro? How you doing, man? How you feeling? Pretty good, man. Just finished my coffee, so it's all good. Hell yeah, let's get it, man. Well, welcome, man. Like, we're here to drop as much value as we can to the people that are going to listen. I'm excited to have you. Um, John here, he is a an insurance agent. He started his business a few years back, and uh, I brought him because, you know, we, we all need to share information on these type of topics that a lot of people, even in my industry, probably don't know much about, and it's a good topic to touch. Um, follow John on Instagram. He goes by Life with John. He's more than willing to help you out if you DM him, and uh, we're going to dive in, man. We'll just talk a little about, we're going to just chop it up and talk about business, talk about life, and then make the best of it. How you doing, John? All good, man. All good. Um, ready to share some some good words, you know? That's right. That's right. So let's talk about it, man. Like what what got you into like what got you to where you are now? Like what what's motivating you to to get to where you are right now? Honestly, bro, I gotta say it's my son. You know, um prior to getting into the industry, I was working at uh, Alberton. Um, and I don't know if you know about Albertsons, but I was in the meat department and it's not like the, it's a cool environment, bro. Like if you're like just, um, comfortable, right. Maybe you're, maybe you're in school or you just, you know, need, need something to put some food on the table. It's cool. But when you start thinking about long-term, you know, when you have kids and you know what the future holds, you, you definitely want to find something better, something more rewarding, something that pays you a little bit more, you know? That's when I kind of ventured out to to explore, bro. I got on Indeed. I, I started looking for jobs, and I, I landed this job at an all-state office um, oh. in Huntington Beach. Yeah, bro, and that, oh, that that job changed my life. It was like, I was like, whoa, you know? I didn't know you can make that much money in insurance. It, it's, it was sweet, bro. Like, I, I got into uh, property and casualty, which nice. is uh, like, like homeowners auto you know I eventually i got licensed for life insurance and uh Damn. When, once i started selling those life insurance policies bro it was like this is it you know um there's a lot of products um you know by many different companies where i was before at all state it was a captive agency so what that means in insurance is that you know you're limited to what you can sell so let's say you got XYZ company and that's it. So, um, you know, a lot of times in, in that industry, you might run across people who don't have like ITIN numbers, right? Maybe they're not U.S. citizens, which is, I mean, this is Southern California. We run into that a lot. Or oh, yeah, um, we got people that are, you know, not qualified, whether they have diabetes, high blood pressure, oh, you know, stuff like that. There's a lot of medical conditions. Um, a lot of people don't get, um but yeah bro so so i left that captive company um i decided to go independent which was a good and a bad thing because when you go independent in this industry you're saying goodbye to your to your wages so you're not getting paid oh, hourly anymore so you know you wake up in the morning uh yeah. you know nine o'clock eight o'clock five o'clock whenever you decide to yeah. get up and, and start grinding um sure. you, you're grinding for your commission yeah. So it's a, it, it's tough, bro. It is tough when you first get started, but it's yeah. a, it's a very good, very good business. Dude, that sounds like a good, uh, you just explained everything really good right now, by the way. So you were a captive, you were at a cap agency, you know, that's when you like, you know, you show up and you know, um, there's like, you have wages there, but when you get, when independent, that's when you, you have to work on your own. Right. Yes, sir. Damn, yeah, it, it was the yeah. Go ahead. It, it was a it was quite an experience, you know, making that transition. But in this industry, right, you you get paid when you sell a policy, and you know, as an owner, you get paid residuals. So Damn. let's say I sell you, right? Let's say yeah. I write you a policy. Um, you know, I help your family out and stuff. I I get paid today. You know, whenever the policy is used, I'll I'll get paid. And then um, for the next couple of years, you know, I'll still get paid. Not as big as the first payment, but I mean, it's called residual income. I'm sure you know a lot about that. Yeah. Um, that's that's where it's at, bro. If I was to pass away while I have my book of business, you know, my son gets to keep my book of business. So he's still getting paid while I'm not here. 
Um, on top of whatever insurance policies I already have on myself, it's just, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a win-win, bro. Heck yeah. Hey man, sometimes, uh, you got to do those type of things. So these, so how did you feel? Like what, how was the transition from like, Hey bro, like I went from like working at a grocery store to, you know, I'm now a, an insurance agent, which ha makes way more money. I'm sure double, maybe even triple what someone at Albertsons would, would be making to, you know, like now you're independent. Like, how was that shift, man? What type of mindset uh, changes happen in those, in those moments? I'm sure you had a lot of breakthroughs, a lot of times where a lot of doubt, I'm sure it, we're humans. I have doubt. A lot of us have. And uh, so could you share a little bit about that? Cause I know it's a big transition. Oh, bro, it was crazy. Making the change. I mean, I, I kind of just had to like knuckle up and say, let's go. Um, you know, obviously we only know what we know. So I had to like venture out, bro. I had I had to go out and like read books, you know? I, yeah. I never read books before, to be honest okay. with you, bro. Like I, I never read books, but then I started getting on IG and then you see like all these books, like uh, Think and Grow Rich, you know, you have- uh, Oh, there you go. The power of habit, like a, a bunch of different books. I'm, I'm reading this book right now that's still like, it's not very motivational, bro. Yeah. But it's just like changing stuff in your life. Oh, wow. That just, it, yeah. it's just like all compounding. Re regardless of what you're doing, it's all compounding. You're still getting something better. Yeah. And it's, it's cool, bro. It's, it's very cool. And um, yeah, I, I think the books, bro, the podcast. I mean, when I first got into insurance, I, I was listening to a lot of Gary V. Gary v. Oh. That was my cup of tea. That was my cup of tea at the time. And nice. then I kind of transitioned into like more sales podcasts. Hell yeah. And motivational, you know, Grant Cardone, oh. read the 10X, read oh, all that. Yeah. Um, Gotta read the 10X, and it was, <laughs> Yeah, it, it's a legit book. And 100%. I, think, I think growing and while you're listening to this stuff, it, it's all good information. It's yeah. just there's a time for everything. Yeah, 100%. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. let's say you're into that power of habit right now <clears throat> you learn something from that and then you're automatically over here at a, at a different book and it's just like you keep growing bro but you just yeah. kind of got to keep feeding yourself that fuel dude that's so great man yeah man i agree you so you were like so pretty much the shift was like man i'm a little bit here listening to these people and i'm and your mindset was just shifting as you went yeah it, it was wild but i mean I, I still go through it bro like Right okay. now, um, I mean, I, I switched to podcast too. There's a lot of like Ed Milet I listen to. He's, oh, he was bro, big in the bad. insurance agency as well. Um, oh. Yeah, Bedros. I mean, there, there's so many good podcasts out there. It's just like we have to really look. And when you have Apple, yeah. you know, and an iPhone, I mean, all that stuff is free. The podcast. Bro, yeah. You find your people like. I'm on different stuff too. Like I can share, like I, I've been following coach Bert right now. Um, okay. you know, like some, a couple of uh, audio books, like leadership books, um, Blair singer, uh, summit leadership book, like team building books, just different. I'm on team building type stuff right now. And then, you know, we shift over like probably a year ago, I was more like doing the greatest salesman in the world. Have you heard of that book? Yeah. Yeah. There's oh, a, there's a lot of, uh, good reads out there you know yeah man like i i i have like a couple of those books and i give them out to my customers sometimes because mm -hmm. sometimes young guys i feel like they they need a they need a little boost of confidence so i'm like hey here here's this book man it's like a it's an easy read bro you don't have to have like a a great reading skill to read this book and uh you know i'm just the greatest salesman in the world is probably a good way to start for anyone you should read it too john it's a great book yeah i, I gotta check that out Oh, G9, um, you know, buy it on eBay. It's, it's okay. a great book. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I've been, I've been trying to get through like a book every month. Um, I obviously I want to get through more, but, sure. um, you know, when you're at the gym and stuff, you could be like on a, on an audio book and hey. I mean, you're learning, you're learning and you're, you're working out too. 30 minutes hey. on the treadmill, you know? Heck yeah, man. Like I literally don't even listen to music anymore unless it's something that like very rarely I'll put on some music. My right. car, it's all audiobook. Zig Ziglar, you know, Ed Milet, um, you know, podcast. Uh, I've been listening to Ryan Pineda's podcast. It's pretty good. Okay. He's a real estate guy. He interviews a lot of great people. Uh, Andy Elliott. 
Yeah, he's a savage, huh? Yeah, he's yeah, he's I think he's one of the best sales trainers out there right now, probably I would say. Bro, last night I, I was having a hard time going to bed and I was on IG and uh he posted something pretty cool last last night. He's like, If you don't like where you're at, you know, you're the only person that could that could change it. Or yeah. the only person in control. So if if you're not like content with where you are right now, like look yourself and yeah, what could you do different? What could you do different? Which is real shit, bro. Nobody's yeah. gonna tell you that. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, I, know I, I like stuff a, like that. I have a coach and he was like, hey, man, like he just sold his business. He's from Florida. His name is Joel Gondera. And uh, okay. yeah, he has a he has a uh, challenge that I did 31 days to be a better man. And okay. uh, he just and every time I'm on a call with him, he's like, hey, man, let's let's get some like two or three action stuff that we can do. What are you going to do? And I'm like, damn. All right. Let's he's like, what? And he kind of helps me like analyze what I got to do. He's like, hey, call these two people. Find find like two people and just do a quick call, see if you can get them connected. I'm like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. And man, that really pushes me to just boom, take action. And I'm like, damn, in like one hour, I did that really quick. Versus if I would have just kind of like not had that action, you don't do it. Exactly. That that's the hardest part is I think getting started. Once you get started, I mean, sometimes I'm like you know, the the phone, getting on the phone, as easy as it sounds, making a call, bro, sometimes it's in, it's intimidating. A hundred. You know, yeah. sometimes you're just not feeling it. You don't want to make calls. But if you don't make calls, you don't make money. And you know what I mean? There's a lot of money out there. There's a lot of people that you could help. A lot of people that need your product. I mean, with the new products that we have, like the modern life insurance with, you know, living benefit. Yeah. Um, a lot of older people and even younger people, bro. Um, there's still companies out there that don't offer the living benefits that some companies do. Mm-hmm. It's just getting people approved for these companies. You know, sometimes people yeah. got like policies with, you know, Primerica for one, right? Yeah. Um, you know, everybody has their little niche. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, if you run into a client that has a policy like that, bro, there's a lot you can do for them. Ah, I see. You know, if there's cool. companies... Yeah, there's companies out there, bro, that, that don't offer much. Like you have uh, certain uh, living benefits. Like if you get cancer, heart attack, or stroke, oh my God. you could actually access a portion of your policy. Yeah. So I mean, those are those are policies that are winning, bro. You want everybody yeah. to have a policy like that. And when you're in the business like me, you're like, damn, you have a policy with XYZ company. Uh, let me help you out. Let me let me show you something different. A lot of the times sure. we're beating the policies by like thirty percent. So I mean. Wow. You get more, you get more from these policies and then, you know, they still win. They still yeah. win because they're saving money. So it's, it's like, it's legit, bro. It's a, it's a good business to be in because you're helping yeah. people. And at the same time, most of the time you can save them money. So that's pretty cool. Like, I think a lot of us probably need that eventually in our life or if not sooner than later, because I mean, I've heard a lot of people say that they do have it and other people that don't. And um, we can dive in a little more like into that business right now. But like, what do you mm-hmm. have to say to people that like say everyone's skeptical about a lot of things. And I feel like that point, it's a mindset thing. Like right now you're sharing about insurance and I'm like, ah, oh, cool. Let's, let's, what do you got? Like, I'm here to learn, you know, and if you could teach me something, I'm willing to learn it. But what do you have to say to those people? Cause I have people who say that, Hey, you're, you're, um, you're just trying to sell people things that they can listen on YouTube. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, dang, like that's how you think? Like, no, I'm I don't. I paid thousands of dollars for mentoring. And uh, you know, these are the things I'm learning with them. And it's it it's something that I'm mastering and now I could teach it. So what do you have to say right. to those people that like think it's a scam or they're like skeptical about things? Like, how how do you handle those and what do you, what do you have to say to them? This is how I feel about that, bro. So I mean, not everybody's going to like what we're, you know, what we're serving. Exactly. You know, it, it's just, oh, they're yeah. human. Not everybody's ready to make that change. But I mean, if you're leading and you're doing what you have to do, eventually they're going to follow, bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, not everybody moves at the same pace. Mm-hmm. But once they, you know, give it some thought, let it sink in. Um, I mean, bro, they're, they're going to follow. It, it's just, it's yeah. just, it's just how it goes. Dude. That's such a good and simple answer, man. Like, I feel like compassion equals sales, man. Or like education equals sales. Like, you don't have to be like that sales dog to sell something. You just have to show them what, what the benefit is. 
Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of ways to actually like, you know, help people. It's just, yeah, no, a lot of people put up that that brick wall. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, especially in my business. I mean, there's times I'll be making calls and people hang up and I mean Yeah. That's hard, bro. It's hard to pick up that <laughs> phone again when somebody hangs up on you, but at the oh, same yeah. time, I mean, there's so many people in this world. Not everybody's gonna be like, hey, click. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I mean there there's a lot that people could do um it's just i think it just takes timing yeah man i think we're gonna come across a lot of people like that and uh uh i've you know it could be family it could be friends it could be like someone just just do a quick little make fun of you a little bit and it's funny you know but really like maybe they just still don't understand maybe that's an opportunity yeah. to teach them yeah, bro, you just got to keep grinding it out, you know? Um, yeah, 100%. Every, everybody sees it. It's just, are they willing to accept it? Are they willing to actually be like, hey, you know what? This is this is legit. Like, I, I run into people like that all the time. I mean, there's there's products that I, that I put, products that I really believe in. And sometimes you run across people that are, like, skeptical about it, right? Hmm. They're skeptical about it. Like, you know, how, how is this possible? How, could, how can I make so much money tax-free? It's just the way that it's it's said in the law bro you know it's like way, insurance man. is a yeah that's what they say they, they call like the policies the the rich man's Roth, right because wow. with the Roth, you could actually yeah. max out i believe it's at like 6500 bucks a year yes it is um but with these policies you could put up to 20 grand depending on how you design oh. it oh wow so i mean th there's tons of ways to to grow tax-free which is main thing tax-free because in yeah. california we're already getting kind of stiffed with our taxes you know oh, for sure. um yeah. but yeah bro there, there's so much you could really do yeah that's awesome man i, I think i really really think like there's going to be a hundred no's and like one yes and in that 100 no's you're just learning so much but if you stay persistent and consistent with it dude you're just gonna and then that habit you're just you just got to keep doing it yeah, so we're building the muscles, bro. Years. Yeah, we're we're building the muscles. I mean, whether it's you know rejection, yeah, being the hardest, yeah. Um, it's 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 all mental, bro. It's just you got to so, keep pushing, and I mean, yeah, hundred percent, man. Like John, there's a there's a, I did a with Blair Singer. He's he's like a sales trainer for online now, and uh, he wrote the book Sales Dogs. And I did his powerful sales presentation training. It's a three-day training for sales. And uh, he makes us get in a room. And then he makes us like with like three or four people. And he makes us like talk shit on each other. Hey, man, your shirt looks stupid. And then he like, and then you just have to say thank you and then stay, stay firm. But if someone talks so much smack to you for like 100 questions, when that does come, you're like, hey man, that's not a problem. Like, hey, how you like you still feeling good? Like you can't shut down a salesman, you know what I mean? That's what he's training. Yeah. That's pretty sick. What what is it called? Powerful sales presentation by Blair Singer. He is actually having one this in a few weeks to your two weeks, but it's online only. Okay. He used to do it live before in uh before COVID, and then he just found it to be, you know, get more people online now so he found a way to do it online now he's doing it online yeah, but yeah sweet, robert, bro. robert even, kiyosaki is his partner oh okay yeah yeah he, he's solid too bro a lot of people are like skeptical about these people which i understand i mean there's there's a lot of people in the industry that are kind of like iffy like that guy dave ramsey right there's a lot oh, of ramsey, stuff yeah. <laughs> that he says that a lot of like young people that listen to him they're 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 gullible right they, they'll believe everything that he says and, and i yeah. get it yeah get rid of get rid of your debt it's important but yeah. there's a lot of stuff he's against that i'm not against so it's like i i, I see him but i'm not like no nah, i'm not i'm not drinking, i'm not in. drinking that soup i'm not i'm not exactly. eating that you know drinking that tea yeah it's just there's a lot of people out there bro it's just everybody has a different time yeah. in their life to Dude, yeah, same thing with like mm -hmm. Gary Vee. I think sometimes I would like, I would be like, oh, Gary Vee, Gary Vee's cool, pick up some stuff here and there, but you can't like listen to everything because shit, man, you get brainwashed into it. And then, uh, you know, something that you do believe in, it makes, it could make you not believe into it later on. It just, yeah, you got to be careful. But yeah, man, um, so let's share a little bit of uh, 
you know, like what's the benefit of, you know, like, let's just say someone wants to get something like with you. Like what's, what's something that they can start off with. Um, it let's, really let's depends where they're at. How about that? Let's, let's talk about it. What, what, what can we do? Building wealth as far as, you know, for the protection or as far as for yeah, the, like, the, in, the income part of it. Oh, okay. So there's two. All right. I mean, share it. So both. Let's talk about both. Building wealth, right? So let, let's start off with the most affordable the term option, right? Term options are cool. Um, let's say you're a homeowner, a business owner. Um, term options are cool. They're affordable. I mean, depending on your age and your health, I mean, I mean, a lot of people say you could get it for, for super cheap and, and you can, depending on what company you go with, right? I always recommend companies with those living benefits I was talking about. So one of my favorite companies, if you could get approved for them, bro, they're, um, it's National Life Group. It's, it's one of the best companies. They have three um, living benefits. So it, in my opinion, it, it's, a, it's a better company, right? You're getting more for what you're paying. For sure. Um, those options are cool. I mean, uh, let's say you own that house, right? You own the house, um, you pass away, you know, you have your family, your wife, your, your mom, your parents, whoever, right? You have this loan out on the house, $500,000 loan, you pass away, you still owe, let's say 400000 you have a policy to, to leverage that that loan. So when you do pass away, which we're obviously all going to pass away, right? Yeah. Um, your policy could pay for not only your funeral and stuff, but it'll pay for your outstanding loan that you have, right? Okay. Not only a house, but like any other debt. Um, I mean, you got that paid off with that policy. Normally, I mean, a $500,000 policy, I mean, you could get a, something like that for like 40 bucks a month for, you know, 30 year term, depending on your age. I see. Obviously as you get, as you get older, you know, let's say you're 55, 60, um, it, it's going to get more expensive. So yeah, when I talk to like younger people, bro, cause I mean, us young people, some of us make decent money. I mean, I have a lot of friends and family that are in the union, bro, that are yeah. electricians. I mean, my, my brother-in-law, he just, um, He's a lineman now, bro. So his oh. income just shot up like crazy. Wow. So like when you when you come across people like that, that have that extra money, which is, it's hard to find in California, right? But once you go over like the budget and stuff, I mean, there's permanent policies that, that actually can help you out a lot. Like, let's say you have a couple hundred bucks extra. I mean, I always tell people like minimum, I mean, 200 to 300 bucks a month. Let's say you have that to where you want to, you know, put it away. There's permanent policies. One of my favorite being the the index universal life policy. Um, I like these policies because, you you know, you're paying obviously for your your death benefit because it is a life insurance product. I mean, you have the fee of the uh, the death benefit. So let's say, you know, when you structure these, you want to make sure you have minimum death benefits or lower death benefit and then maximum cash value. So your money that you're putting in, it's not all paying for your death benefit. Most of it's going towards your cash value. Okay. See what I'm saying? So, I oh. mean, it, it's a cool policy because it's uh, it grows, right? It, it's an index policy. So, I mean, you're guaranteed to go up when the market goes up. But because it's a life insurance policy, it has a zero floor. So you'll never lose on your money. So $100,000 wow. in, in that policy... If the market takes a you know takes a crap, you lose fifty percent in the market. You're still yeah. having your hundred thousand dollars, and you're never going to go below that number because of I, that zero floor. Ah, uh, okay. So your cash value. So the way you explain it is like your cash value. You put in cash, and it has a cash value, but you also get a death benefit. Mm -hmm. In the simplest way, that's how I got it. Yeah, you, you have that death benefit, bro. Depending on how much you putting you're putting into the policy, mm -hmm. will determine the growth. So there's different ways to, to leverage these policies for your needs, right? Let's say you have a, you know, two-year-old daughter and you want to make sure that, hey, you know what? I want little Susie to have, you know, this amount of money by the time it's time for her to go to school. Yeah. So in that case, you know, we'll design it like that. And then um, when she is ready to go to school, um, she can access the money, whether it's to pay off like a student loan or to buy a car yeah. or just for w whatever she needs. She has that money tax-free that she has access to at that time. No, that's awesome, man. I, I love tax free stuff, man. That's awesome, dude. So what do you what do you rec what do you feel like um 
for your kids like do you do that for them or like someone that has kids yeah i have one for my son i have one for my son um he could use it for whatever he wants to use it for bro oh, cool. i mean my job as a parent is to kind of like mold him into somebody who could handle money because that's really important oh bro right if, if, that's a good if, one. if i design a policy to get him you know 200 grand when he turns 18 obviously i want him to learn how to use it yeah you know what i mean i'm not i'm not saying he has to go to college because college isn't for everybody mm -hmm. i mean i went i went for a while too I, I went to college and and i got the experience but at the end of the day it's not for everybody yeah you know what i mean like there's trades that that people can explore that make yeah. a ton of money. There's, yeah. you know, uh, licenses you could get, like like the life insurance license. You can make a lot of money doing other stuff. You don't have to go to school. So I'm not going to tell him where to use it, but it's his if he needs it. That's cool, man. Uh, Brad, yeah, you... well, go ahead. No, there's just like a lot of ways you could actually like leverage these policies, whether it's like putting it into a trust. You know, oh, like let's yeah. say I have a policy on myself and then i pass away you put it into a trust now my family has this money for you know special events right if i want them to yeah. to make sure hey you know what i'm gonna leave you know this is my son is leo right so let's say i'm gonna leave leo you know seven hundred thousand dollars right yeah um i'm gonna make sure he has a hundred thousand dollars for his down payment on his first home damn and that's all stated in my trust so yeah but there's there's a lot of tools that you know i could offer the client just depending yeah. on their needs yeah it's, it's a it's a good place to be bro yeah dude that's great man i think i think even as me as a business owner even just a trust is important because like I'll, it's sad man to think that when when you die it's like you're not ready for it bro nobody and in, in the hispanic culture i'm mexican you don't talk about death like you just don't like in my family like i've tried to talk to my parents about it hey um you know like it's an awkward conversation, the most awkward I've ever had, even harder than a business conversation. So um, having a trust and having like an exit, like a life insurance plan, like it's pretty important, I think, because damn, then like you die and then like you're just left with what do we do? So uh, yeah. how important is the trust, in your opinion, with what you're doing and the people you're around? Um, I think they're necessary for everybody. Um. I mean, once again, homeowners, right? If you have a house in your name, you pass away. Um, the government really does have a plan for your house. Um, you could kind of consider them like your, your beneficiary, right? Let's say you don't have a trust in place. You know, Ricardo yeah. owns this house. Um, nobody said that that house is going to your, to your wife yeah. or your kid. Um, what they have to do at that time is they'll go into probate probate court. They which will, yeah. includes a, a, a lot of fees. And at the end of the day, the government ends up keeping a portion of that. Yeah. A state of your estate. So having your trust as affordable as it is, a lot of people don't want to think about it because a lot of people don't want to like die. Right. Nobody wants to think about that. You're right. Yeah. Um, but when you have your stuff in place, I mean, you, you live a lot better, bro. In my, in my opinion, when you have stuff in place, it's just, driving down the street it, it just feels a lot better because if something happens yeah. to where you know you get you get hit god forbid or you know um you know you get sick or something i mean you have yeah. everything in place already so it's just a lot easier and i know yeah, yeah. the hispanic community they they don't it's a great community right they're hustlers but i love it man they yeah. don't really protect their their estate like that you know yeah. as, as much as they need to and as, as affordable as it is to get a trust in place yeah a lot of people they just don't think like that bro yeah yeah i know man and i know so that it's it's an experience that i mean i feel like that's a big problem to solve right now like i feel like a lot, a lot of uh you know the hispanic community needs to get a little more educated on the options that we have out there and we need to get more knowledge on these things so yeah man i appreciate you doing that for for you know the hispanic community bro i'm sure you're gonna get a lot of support no yeah for sure i, I know there's there's a lot a lot missing because we're not taught this you know they don't teach the system school oh they but don't. um i think that's what we're what we're doing here you know is we're just we're talking about it i mean somebody's gonna hear it you know let's say 20 people hear it as long as it hits one person bro yeah then we're doing our part yeah uh yeah no i agree man so the the real so bradley i think he does the same thing as you he sells like he has his own policy insurance thing 
then uh, I guess you can sell it after. Is that is that something that you can yeah. do? Yeah. So like he yeah. came up, like a real quick explanation through his podcast. You saying so he talked about Ed Milet and like how Ed Milet exited, and um, mm -hmm. you know now he he found a better way. He say to like like let's just say you build a hundred per person uh team. You're at a hundred people. He said literally you can like grab your your real insurance policy like the the company and it's your own company you can be like hey john i have 100 people here's my people man it's worth you know xyz just give me 15 percent of it and now you take you take and do whatever you want with 100 people is that something that mm -hmm. you guys can do is that how it works you can that that's why i kind of uh i took that leap and i i went yeah. independent is because as an owner, you build your book of business. So your residual yeah. income, is, it's your income. Um, you can sell it depending how long you're in the business. I mean, maybe I'll do that when I hit like my 20 year mark. Um, but, you know, it, it does take time to build it up. But yeah, I mean, if you need that extra strategy or you want to like buy a house or just retire and chill, maybe put that money into an annuity or something. I mean, you could really live good. You could live good. Um, it's just yeah. building that book. It's just building the book. And it's not impossible. It's just obviously it takes some time and it takes some hard work. Yeah. I, I You know, I but think it, it's worth it though, right? No, it, it definitely is. It, it's, a, it's a cool business. I knew nothing about it before I got into it. But yeah. I mean, learning and, and um, I mean, right now, the, the office that I'm with, um the uh how do i say this the ceo the owner of the, co the company right it's a, it's a franchise I so see. the the owner of the company actually used to work with ed Milet. oh so was the person Ed's doing his yeah financial advisors he, he used to be yeah. with uh wfg before wfg yeah world financial yeah which they, it's a it's a good i mean platform everybody has their their perks of being with different companies and stuff but this guy learned from Ed Milet. So when he's doing his meetings, bro, it, it's great. We do meetings oh. uh, Monday morning, 9 a.m. Damn. Uh, we used to do them Tuesday night as well, product training. But right now it's 9 a.m. meetings and they're always fire, bro. Like he, he's teaching you yeah. something. He's a good mentor. Uh, Manny awesome. Soto, he's, he's solid, bro. It's like always learning around that guy. Heck yeah, man. That's awesome. So that's like your mentor right now, right? Coach, mentor. Yeah. Yeah, he goes hard, dude. And and it's really cool because I mean, when I first got started back back at Allstate, um, you know, the person that kind of got me involved in the life insurance, it was cool and stuff, but some people don't want you to learn everything. Ah. Uh, but where, where I'm at now, it's just like, yeah, there there's nothing that he won't help you with. Yeah. Awesome. Which is cool in this industry, bro. It's like it's legit it's a, yeah. it's a good place to be you know i think weekly meetings for like any kind of type of company is super important too man like it, it's it's just you know getting everybody in line and and it just everybody needs that reminder like i guarantee you not not even the top performing athletes or or best you know people that have the biggest companies have 365 great days like it's just impossible so you you need that that refresher every week you know, being around people like that, it's important. Yeah, it does help out a lot. It keeps the, what do you say, it sharpens the sword. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? So, yeah. I mean, if you're feeling a little bit down, you go into that meeting, you do a couple uh, couple scripts or something. I mean, you'll start feeling a lot better real quick. Yeah, I, there's a there's a word. Uh, well, Wes Watson says it, and then there's a lot of other people that have said it. He says the law of uh, proximity, and it, and it, there's a statistic apparently like if you're in a room with like five millionaires, you're and you're making a hundred thousand, your income is like gonna go up by twenty percent eventually. Like it will, like mm -hmm. it just it's crazy how it works. Like if you're just in a room full of people that are, you know, motivated, they're doing their thing, your your income is gonna go up. That's the goal yeah that is the goal because we're always growing you know it's just like yeah, yeah you don't want to be in a in a bad place right whether it's mentally or mentally or um you know just around the wrong people bro you, you yeah. gotta be like yeah I, I totally feel that and i and i see that too because you could always learn from somebody yeah yeah I, I love being the small fish in a big room like i love being that person where like i don't know shit like what's up like let's learn 
Like I'm uncomfortable, but like, you know, these people are making millions. Uh, it don't matter to me, man. But a lot of times, a lot of those people that are, that are, that are in the room like that, if you just talk to them, a lot of times they're really cool. I've rarely met someone that's like, a, that they're not willing to, to like talk to you, you know? Yeah, no, that, that, that's good when you have that, um, around you you know the, the when, you, when you have those people support, yeah the resources source. around you yeah because everybody's doing something else yeah everybody does different things uh I, I yesterday i did a training with one of my coaches he put literally i don't know if this is something but he put environment is stronger than your will and he's like damn i'm like that's true like if you're around in the right room that's a good environment but let's just say you're out on the street just chilling posted or whatever drinking that's not a good environment that's probably not the good conversations you're gonna have um same thing goes with like a certain type of uh uh you know you're gonna be if you're at a club for the right reason like celebrating something great that's awesome but like if you're just there just to hang out and you don't really have a goal to go to that event it's kind of like uh you're just you're just we you're just kind of like getting away from what you want all right no, that that was a solid one. Um, it, it's all true, bro. It's just when we're ready to accept it. You know what I mean? Being younger, yeah. there's a lot of young people out there that are still into that, you know, that scene, or maybe they're content with where they're at. But I just think when you want something more, it's it's hard to be around it. Yeah. So that's what it ends up being, bro. I I I, I realized that too. The stuff that kind of used to get me, make me happy and stuff, it's just not. Not the same you're still you're still not content yeah yeah we should never be yeah content you know we should always like strive for better every time every year i think every year we should strive for better and it's just it's just a way to live good and uh you know they they say more more money more problems i don't really believe that i think it's more money less problems i mean the problems are going to be there no matter what zig ziglar said i had money with problems and i had money I, and i had i had problems I had problems with money and I had problems without money. He's I always choose problems with money because I can solve more things, but the problems are going to be there. Mm -hmm. There's going to be problems all the time, bro. It's, it's just how like, we go no matter what. Yeah. Hey man, thanks for, thanks for being on here. I really appreciate it, man. Uh, anything that you want to share to the audience, you know, uh, to what you got, like, what do you have to say? How can they reach you, man? Uh, is it okay they DM you? Yeah, bro. Uh, Life with John on Instagram. You're more than welcome to reach out. I mean, you don't have to buy anything. If you just have questions, I'm all for it. Um, there you go. Here to, here to help, not here to sell. But um, if you got questions, I mean, you could do that. You hit me up on the, on the DM or I have a website, okay? I have a website with tons of information on it. Oh, sick. Um, it's website. Yeah, bro. So it's it's your insurance solutions dot org. That that's my website. Okay. There's a life insurance calculator on there. I mean, um, tons of information regarding like the term insurance, you know, permanent insurance, and anything you don't find on there, shoot okay. me a DM. I mean, um, that's open all the time. You know, once you got our website, it's on and cracking. But, Heck yeah. but um, yeah, bro. Like whatever you guys need, I'm here to help. Um, you as well. Um, we're always learning, bro. Uh, keep hustling uh i like what you're doing yeah you too man i like what you're doing too man let's keep pushing you know uh can't wait to see you know hopefully do another one of these in a year and then you know hopefully you know our income has gone up and our personal development and just everything around is better um no definitely yeah. it's gonna be a good year bro we're, look we're yeah, coming man. to an end of what 23 so 23, uh 2024 is, is it's going down heck yeah man all in, all in, bro. <laughs> Always. No, yeah, it's it's, it's going to be good, bro. It's going to be good. And uh, I mean, just keep reading your books. I mean, to everybody, keep reading your yeah. books. Keep keep listening to those podcasts. I mean, audio books are clutch. I mean, can't go wrong. We we have all the resources. It's just what are we going to do with them? Yeah, man, 100%, brother. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you you dropping in and then dropping some knowledge on, on, on the fam here. And yeah. I'll send you the video. For sure, man. bro. Thank, thanks for having me, man. We'll touch base. Of course. All right, brother. We'll stay in touch, man. All right, Doug. Peace. All right. Peace.